we want to factor this completely. We first look for a greatest common factor. There isn't one. There's three terms, so we factor it as a trinomial, setting up our two parentheses. For the first term, to get x to the sixth, each of our first terms would have to be an x cubed. Because the last term's negative, that means our signs are opposite, so we'll have one positive and one negative. Looking at the 28, we can break that down into 7 and 4. Whoops, 14 and 2, 28 and 1, and let's see if I missed any. That looks like that's it. So trying each of these, we might try the 7 with the 4. A positive 7 and a negative 4x cubed gives us positive 3x. That will not um, give us negative 12x cubed. So we'll try the next one. How about the 14 with the 2? Well, we get positive 14x cubed, negative 2x cubed is positive 12x cubed. Since we want the negative, we just switch these signs, and we have x cubed minus 14 gives us negative 14x cubed, and then positive 2x cubed does give us the negative 12x cubed. So we have x cubed minus 14 and x cubed plus 2. Looking at each of those with two terms, neither one is a sum or difference of cubes, so they cannot be broken down any further. So that is the completely factored form.